is Sherry G. Man, I've been down with some type of stomach bug. I know I was supposed to go live on yesterday. Then I thought I would do it today, but I am just not feeling well at all. <laughs> and I'm looking like I've been through it. So I'm um, not going to be doing a live today. So I just decided, you know, to take a couple of minutes and, and just do this video on what I wanted to talk about. So if I seem a little lethargic or what have you, I apologize. But yeah, um, hopefully can get this this video done and um, and we'll go live some other time. But anyway, um, keep in mind that all the views expressed here are alleged. They are of my opinion and those who comment in the comment section below. It's for entertainment and learning purposes. If you haven't done so, hit like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell because I will be back. So, anyway, um, a couple of days ago I posted a video and, you know, um, people were commenting, but there were two comments that I want to address um, because I just feel like, you know, because I just want to address it. <laughs> I just want to talk about it because it's just like this whole cyber bullying and everything that we're seeing going on in the internet is just so crazy to me. It's one thing when kids do it, you know, and teenagers do it, but it's totally a different thing when, when adults do it. And, um, it's just a bit ridiculous. So I just want to address the two comments and um, give my views and opinions and etc. So uh, the first comment was in regards to Marceau and Tisha and Black Cigar Lounge. So the the girl who's commenting in the comment section, and you can go back and read it. It's um, her name is is DIY girlfriend, um, is the name that it posted under, or the tagline, or whatever you call it, the uh, the YouTube channel name. But um, she commented um, this one comment, and then I'll address the second one. She says, also in business, no one shares who invested into their business. It's not something you advertise. Black is ran by the Scots, so their business. So, I do agree that people, you know, they, they go on business ventures, you know, they um, open up stores, they open up whatever, they start whatever um, business, you know, um, and sometimes they get investors, people to invest in their business. And they don't advertise. Maybe they do sometime, but it's not necessary to advertise it. I agree with that. So perhaps that is the case with Black. The second part of her comment, though, I don't agree with. Just because you run a business or you're running the business doesn't mean it's your business. So... To me, um, she could have just left it at, you know, they have investors and so, um, but it is their business. But just because you run a business doesn't make it yours. I run my business too, and it is not mine. There's a group of guys that own the hotel I run, um, but it's not mine. Um, but the third thing I wanted to address in regards to that is that no one is trying to come at the Scots like we we want them to succeed and and we're happy you know if black belongs to them then fine okay that that's good the thing is that um allegedly there there are some alleged uh, untruths that were told just or they're just not so forthcoming and so because this is reality tv and we didn't sign on to watch a fiction we signed on to watch real people doing business in in this particular case um reinvesting into or investing into the community that they live in Huntsville um then we expect the truth 
we we don't we don't expect the avoidance that we've seen from in, in particular Marceau. We expect to see the proof too. We expect to see the buildings coming up. We expect to see all the projects because allegedly all of these couples were millionaires before they even came to the show. Like they had it going on before they came to the show. They had these booming businesses before they came to the show. So the show was just going to showcase that. And they were going to come together and actually do a project together by forming a group that was once called the comeback group. But we didn't get that. So this is the problem that viewers like myself have because we feel like we've been bamboozled. So again, in my opinion, the majority of the viewers are not coming down on the Scots or are not wanting to see them succeed or anything. We just want the truth. So that was her first comment. And then her second comment is related to the situation where someone allegedly, Miss Betty, posted derogatory statements about Sugar Mama. So here's what she says. It's karma. A melometer slash hater did the same thing to baby mama, to the baby mama website or business. So you get what you put out in this world. I actually had to read it a couple of times because I was a little confused, like, who the baby mama website was. So in my opinion, I believe she's talking about Stormy. And in my opinion, allegedly, what she's saying is that people or Miss Betty, allegedly, coming against Sugar Mama is karma for what allegedly happened to I suspect Stormy based on what she was saying. And number one, I find, in my opinion, that's ridiculous. And number two, that's not what karma is. And so I feel like people use that word karma out of context um, because it's like people understand karma here in the Western world, right? Understand karma as the universe's or God's way of punishing someone for bad deeds that they did in the past. But karma, it isn't that. It's not retribution. It's not payback. It's not an eye for an eye. It's not justice. It's nothing more than mirrored energy. So it falls in line with the principle of so a man, as a man soweth, so shall he reap. So whatever you sow energetically, you get back energetically. It's not something that's concrete or substantial, but it's more energy based, if that makes sense, in my opinion. So that's the first thing. And in my opinion, if what she is labeling as karma and the reason for it she gave is because someone allegedly put a derogatory comment about the baby mama's baby, I guess, or the baby mama on, on their website. I'm, I'm still thinking Stormy. Um, prior to the alleged post about Sugar Mama, um, then, then that would be revenge. And it, I could see that if uh, I could see Miss Betty allegedly doing that as revenge because she's ticked off because someone talked about her daughter or her daughter's child. Uh, I'm still not clear. I mean, allegedly it happened. It has happened recently, but this was after the post um, against uh, baby uh, sugar mama. I'm sorry. The alleged post against uh, sugar mama by Miss Betty. So I just think that for one, karma isn't our karma isn't isn't something that we as people should be doing 
against other people. I, I'm trying, I'm losing my words. I'm really not feeling well, but I'm trying to get it out here. But I th think you guys know what I mean. Like we're not called to be karma agents for another person. And if, if it's true that someone posted something on Stormy's website, then karma should be going back to that person and not sugar mama. And if what I think, what I'm calling it revenge, right? I'm calling it revenge. So then the revenge should not be going against sugar mama. It should be going against the person who actually posted it. So again, it just doesn't jive. It doesn't make sense. And it's ridiculous. Like it's taking it. I understand that, okay, Betty's not just a fan. Like this is actually Stormy's mom. This is actually um, Chess's uh, grandmother. I understand that. And I understand her being upset. But in my mind, there's a better way to handle things like that. Like she could have addressed that person as an individual and not attack, allegedly attack sugar mama. So I don't know if this person posting is related to them. I don't know. Um, it, she's just a fan, but in my opinion, that's just not a, that's not a cool way to think about it. You know, like, and, um, I don't know if she calls herself speaking on their behalf. I really don't know because, you know, people just get in the comments and they say things sometime. And usually I just block it. I'm like, uh, I don't, I don't have time for this. So I'll just block it. I'm not one that's going to go back and forth in the comments because I'm not that pressed, you know, like this is my channel. So I'm just not that pressed. Uh, I don't have to wake up with this person every day. Just like the people who we comment, who we give commentary on, don't have to wake up with us every day. So they, in my mind, shouldn't be so pressed about the things that we say, especially if anything that we say is not true. Like keep on scrolling, right? Um, you don't have to stop by here, but yeah, I just said all that to say that I really think that sometimes people get beside themselves when it comes to being a fan. Like I'm a fan of the show, I think. I, I don't know. We'll see after season six, right? Um, but, um, yes, I'm a fan of Mel, but at the same time, um, it's because her story resonates with me more than any of the others. But at the same time, I don't wish the rest of them any harm, but like, as far as canvas beauty, I was interested at one time in purchasing the products, but seeing how Stormy carries herself as the, the face behind the brand. No, I don't feel the need anymore or to to purchase the products uh nor am i interested <laughs> in the story that's my personal opinion uh, it doesn't go with the original concept of what this show was supposed to be about so yeah um and in my opinion, she's just not good for TV because she's too in the comments. So anyway, um, and because, you know, if you don't see the need to control, you can't control your mom. But if you don't see the need to um, to address it with her, like I have not once seen her apologize to anyone on behalf of her mother. I haven't seen her apologize to any of the customers. And this is me. I haven't seen it. If she she did kudos to her, but I haven't seen an apology to any of the people whose products are behind. I've seen an excuse. I've seen her saying like, it's been like this, like this has always been my struggle type of thing. Like we're just supposed to take it and go with it. Those who did order, I haven't seen an apology for the um, alleged molded products. So, you know, these are the things that have the fans upset. And these are the things that, um, that have us saying the things we do, not because we necessarily want to go against them. And, you know, Wanda made um, a statement about, um, you know, wait until the show goes on, stop talking about the show, but here <laughs> certain castmates from the show are in, in the comments doing things like liking, you know, allegedly liking derogatory things that are said about other class uh, castmates, you know, um, or vying to have a particular castmate taken off the show when actually that person is the show. And if they leave the show, majority of the people that follow or watch will go wherever she goes. Um, but we'll talk about that on, um, on a live. I think that would be an interesting conversation anyway. 
You guys have a good day. I'm going to get off here and just go back and try to get some more rest. Uh, if you haven't done so, hit like, subscribe, hit the notification bell because I will be back. Until then, ciao.